Like lots of Jewish people who are, they would have lived their lives according to the Torah, and I wanted to find out more about it. Joel, just before you go in, you need to put kippah on your head. Why, and why do I have to wear this? You're going to be going in to see holy things, so you need to have your head covered, OK? OK. Meet Mark. He's a Torah scribe, responsible for writing and repairing Jewish holy scrolls. And this is the Torah. So what is the Torah? Torah basically is the first five books of the Bible. It's the central text for all Jews, from which everything is derived. So it's basically the rules. It's the rules. Yeah, there are 613 commandments. Wow, so that's loads. Yeah, absolutely. There's, there's considerably more than 10, which yeah. is people, most people think there's 10, but uh, there's 613 in there. Uh, and it's your job to understand them and study them and apply them for today. So can we take a look? Sure. Wow. So this is handwritten? Oh yeah, completely handwritten. It has to be. It can't be printed. It's not allowed. If you go through, we're very close to the Ten Commandments. So you can see them here. I, I can't see this because this is Hebrew and I don't read Yeah, so it's completely speak. written in Hebrew and Hebrew is written in fact from right to left as opposed to left to right. So how old is this Torah? This Torah is probably about 100, 150 years old. This is a bit where I'm halfway through repairing. You can see the shiny ink where I've been filling in. Oh, yeah. But here, the letter's broken, and that means it's not kosher, it's not valid for use. Wow. Aside from repairing, obviously you have to write. So what we're going to do today is we're going to teach you how to write your name. Right. It's a good Hebrew name, Yoel. Yoel. So I'm going to write it first. Okay. Your first letter is called a Yud, and then we've got this letter, it's called an Aleph. That's a hard one. Okay. That looks That's really tricky. <laughs> and then you've got the last letter, which is called a Lamad, which is the L part. Okay. Yeah, that looks easy. All right, shall I have a go then? Uh, not bad. Uh, okay. That was that wasn't that tidy wasn't. up at the top a bit. Very good for a first attempt. And yeah. then you do a little flamey bit, and then a, a thin bit down. Very good. And then a base one. Very good. Mm. A bit bigger there. That's a bit rough that one at the top, isn't it? <laughs> well, there we go. My first ever attempt at writing in Hebrew. Looking at it, it's actually completely wrong. <laughs> I've just realised now that. <laughs> That bit's better that's better be, be over there. So it's it's not bad, but you know if you get rid of that, you've kind of written yah, which is pretty good. Okay, I'm now yah.